up, what are you nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's Mom One Nerdigan Live Reaction video is going to be for solo leveling Ragnarok chapters 24 and 25. But before I get into this recap and live reaction, we are at war with YouTube's algorithm. And it is slowly but surely killing my channel. And in order to defeat this algorithmic beast, we need you to please hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep me, my adorable well Bubba Kitty, who is over there being a naughty kitty, bad Zeno, bad, and this operation literally alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime, manga, and mama content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our Cash Up and PayPal. Links are in the description box below, as well as a link to our Patreon where we are doing our anime live reaction content because unlike YouTube where we constantly have to worry about getting a copyright strike for um, showing anything on the screen well, Patreon we don't have to worry about that. So I can have my full setup of the anime and manga, well in this case it would be Mama side by side, and also have the audio to boot which is not only great for busting a botch localization or two, but it's also great for um, covering anime original content, such as Dragon Ball Daima, and for Bleach Thousand Year Blood War, which we do have the first episode available for free on Patreon. And it does really give you a great idea of how I do my anime live reactions. And the more views and subscribers we get on Patreon, the more anime we'll cover. And there's a stack fall anime season that has begun, and there's more um, anime on the way. And that does include uh, the next season of Soul Leveling. And if you're a $10 tier Patreon, uh, remember, you get to choose the series we cover as well. So please check out our Patreon. The link is in the description box below. So, um, so the last time I covered Soul Leveling Ragnarok, um, we got to see the Outer Being. And damn, the Outer Being is goddamn adorable. But I don't think it'll be as adorable once, you know, the rest of um, the pieces come together. But let's get to Chapter 24 first, see what's in store for us today. This really isn't anything dangerous, right? Um, we'll each get five million won just for waiting here until that man comes out of the gate. And the only condition would be to not divulge anything we hear or see here. Um, I don't understand why he's giving us money that easily. Uh, yeah, I, I would be very skeptical of that too. This is the fourth time and they've been giving us money without fail. For a hunter, closing a gate is doing the public a service, so it doesn't hurt anyone. But it doesn't feel right. Wait on them, then. Um, that's a little... Well, yeah. Well, it's definitely suspicious. That man didn't bring in, in um, an excavation or collection team and is clearing the gate. But if you don't excavate or collect anything, then you won't be able to earn anything from the gate. At first, he was just going into D-rank gates, uh, but he's been going into C-rank ones lately. Dude, this art for the gates is just fabulous. What on earth is he doing alone in there? Well, technically, he's not alone, but... Move faster, even faster! Damn, what is he doing in there? Collecting really requires a lot of know-how. Don't you agree, Gray? I, I love them together. Isola is just wifey. I love her. And Gray is just adorable as hell. And the young monarch, he's gone on to fight a C-rank boss monster alone. I wonder if he'll be all right. Well, the thing is, though, especially in Isola's case... Esau should be training up and leveling up. Because remember with her um, skill in particular, she's supposed to be able to give power to, um, to Suo. And yeah, um, her kind of being more powerful would be important. Yeah. And would come in handy. But dude, this monster looks great. I'm telling, again, God rest Dubo's, um, you know, God bless and God rest Dubo's, uh, uh, soul, but man, this art just is so much better. I know Dubo's terminal illness affected it, but goddamn, this art is just so much better. Oh my god. Jin, you are definitely doing Dubo proud. You are doing Dubo proud for real. God, it's still, I know I need to catch up with Villain to Kill and Tower of God, but it's still nowhere near their level of art. But this is really good. This is so much better. I'm probably going to be saying it every time I cover Soul Leveling Ragnarok. But God, man, the Soul Leveling, the you know, the Soul Leveling fans that have not read this manga are fucking missing out. 
They really are. Storm Slash. Dude, this is so beautiful. Um, effect Paralyze has been activated. Yeah. The target has high resistance. Um, therefore, the effect is weaker. Uh-oh. You withstood that, huh? Dude, Sua looks so sick. I wanted to test out the paralyzing effect of the dagger I got previously. I wonder, does it not have any effect on spiders? I have to wonder if it has something to do with um, Suo's level, too. I wonder if Suo, or the dagger's level as well. Because if they were at a higher level, it probably would have more of an effect. Um, item, uh, Kasaka's Venom uh, Fang, rank for usage C, type dagger, sense plus 25. A dagger made from Kasaka's Venomous Fang, um, Kasaka's Venom still remains within it, which... Uh, Causes paralysis and bleeding when used on an opponent. You may store this item in your inventory or sell it at the shop. Effect paralyze. Um, there's a chance that the opponent will be paralyzed. Effect bleeding. The opponent will lose 1% of their health um, every second. As I thought when fighting against bugs. You, dude, this feels great. Woo! This movement is fabulous. Get that sputter! Dude, the fist go like that. Yes, ma'am! Get up, Suo! Using bare hands is the best. Yes! This fail is great! Dude! Suo looks so fire! Give Suo! I've grown strong enough to fight a C rank boss mo uh, monster alone. Um, I could go into a B rank gate next. Yeah! But you need experience share or something, man. I've got also gotten used to using ruler's authority in the middle of a fight. Um, not only did I level up, but I've also gotten more proficient at fighting. Come to think of it, skill ruler's authority, I usually only use it to move objects. But I wonder what would happen if I use this invisible hand together with my attack. Hmm. Ooh, let's see. <gasps> Dude, the combo on the fist. <gasps> oh, it looks so sick. Get him, Suo. Yeah! Bye, Spooter! Woo! You have defeated uh, the giant Arcane. Um, you have leveled up. The level of the skill uh, ruler's authority has uh, gone up. And now it's at level two. Um, and even though you are not personally touching physical objects, you can physically move them. And the amount of fatigue that is accumulated depends on how it is used. And fatigue, 83. Well, yeah. I think because I need a lot of uh, concentration to use it like that, I'm getting tired much faster. It'll be hard to use it consecutively. Well, yeah, because he's he concentrated the ruler's authority into his fist. Um, if he wasn't concentrating the ruler's authority into one spot like that, I think it um, his, the fatigue wouldn't be so much. But you have to wonder if he's able to spread the ruler, ruler's authority like that into the rest of his body. Ooh, Suo, I hope you're gonna do that. Where you're spreading the entire the ruler's authority like that throughout the rest throughout his entire body, dude. Especially if he combines it with Easel's power, yo, that will be sick if that happens. Gray looks so cute. Oh my god, there could be endless ways to fight depending on how I use ruler's authority. Um, young monarch. Uh, did you defeat the boss monarch? Uh, or sorry, did you defeat the boss monster? Yeah, I won. You're able to uh, do it alone without me being around now. I'm really impressed. Barry, you can go ahead and finish eating the magic essence crystals. Um, we've collected all the monster materials. Um, uh, great work. Ooh, so we got unknown uh, sword, uh, certain someone's great. What was the certain someone's great sword? Elixir of confusion, uh, oxygen crystals, and crimson marble. Plus 200G, five, plus 500G. Um, it's convenient that I could sell the materials that we collected through the store window. Compared to human hunters, I think you're, uh, you're close to becoming a B rank. Is that so? It's not a surprise since I've leveled up eight more times. So the, here's the status window for uh, Suo. So he's at level 28. Fatigue is 83. No, uh, class is none. Title, Wolf Slaughter, yeah! So HP is at 5,350. MP is at 564, strength is at 63, stamina is at 48, agility is at 37, intelligence is at 37, sense is at 42 plus 5, and remaining points is 0. All right, let's see. Passive skills, endurance level 2, 
Martial arts level one. You might want to raise both those um, uh, a little bit more. Um, active skills, rulers uh, authority level two, shadow extraction level two, and storm slash level one. There's a lot he needs to raise. Also, I feel like as if you become stronger, they also became stronger. Oh, so there is experience, uh, experience share. All right. It's true that I feel like the more we fight, um, the more my strength recovers. Dude, Essel, why are you so hot? Essel, why are you so hot? How am I able to recover my strength without consuming blood? Wait, that aside, you, the two of you have levels now. Um, so Esel, um is at uh, level 19 and Gray's at level 17. We have levels? That's strange. We're not players like you or uh, Sergeant Wu, though. Uh, do you see the system windows, too? I don't think so. Well, they can't invest stat points with their stats increase as they level up. Um, it's a good thing that they, it's kind of like, think of it like this. It's kind of like, um, the Final Fantasy, uh, party system kind of thing. It's a good thing that they could become stronger from now on, but heirs and a teammate, um, system, uh, there are, uh, still a lot of puzzles that need to be solved. Then shall we go check out if you can level up now? What? How do we do that? How else? You'll probably level up after we go on some raids. Yay! Dude, Gray's like, right? Yeah. What? We already went on two raids, but we're going on another one? We could leave that for later. Um, later then. Uh, let's do the daily quest first. Young Monarch, you need to be careful to not get addicted to anything. Um, you have entered the Shadow Dungeon. Huh? What? There, there's a gate in the Shadow Dungeon? What the fuck? What immense heat. Is this coming from inside the gate? Pharaoh, can a gate appear in the Shadow Dungeon too? I'm not too sure about that either. What the fuck is a gate doing here? An urgent quest has arrived. Um, so this is a dimensional crack. What? A dimensional crack has been detected. Enter the connected gate and remove the cause of the dimensional crack. An urgent quest? Hmm. All right, Isla, great. Take these. This is uh, um, heat-resistant robes. Um, break for usage, none. Tight miscellaneous. You'll be able to block out a certain level of heat while it is equipped, and the price is 10 gold. Perfect. I wanted to go on more raids anyway. This worked out great. Dude, this art is fabulous, man. Uh, let's go into the gate. So now we're in the desert. This looks fabulous, too. Egypt, field-type dungeon, pyramid field. Cook. Wait. Lu Zing, um, Usher Guild, B-Rank Hunter. That's tyranny. How can you ask us to leave the dungeon? Um, me and the Usher Guild were here first. Who cares who came first? This will be my last warning. This field-type uh, dungeon belongs to my guild from now on. If you continue to complain, then I'll take that as a declaration of war against us. Damn it. Now of all times? I can't believe we ran into the Scavenger Guild. Everything is meaningless in front of overwhelming strength. Dude, this is beautiful. This background is everything. Oh, my God. And also, like, the design for, obviously, the scavenger guild. The guy from the scavenger guild is great. Or for Randolph um, from the scavenger guild. He looks fucking intimidating. I love it. And he's an A-rank hunter. Um, here we go. Everyone, get rid... And also, it is appropriate that the scavenger guild is here in Egypt. Because of, you know, um, grave robbers and shit. It is so appropriate. Um, everyone, get ready for combat. Um... <sighs> Hey! Uh, wait, excuse me. Where am I? <laughs> what? So, like, poor Suo, like, just came in the middle of a hunter war. Or what seems like to be a hunter war. Okay, so here we go. So now we're at chapter 25. 30 minutes ago, I was wondering why there was sand coming out of the gate. Yeah, tell me about it. Oh, Gray looks so cute! Um, to think the dungeon would be a desert feel strong magic power coming from that pyramid. Um, but why are there things that seem out of place in the dungeon? There are cars and even wire fence uh, fences? Um, I heard that machines don't work in the dungeon, so why are they in here? Um, don't tell me, is this place not a dungeon? No, it's Egypt. But rather a gate that has crossed some sort of world boundary uh, that shouldn't be possible. Uh, even so, as long as the previous gate remains in the shadow dungeon, there won't be an issue. I'll go and check things out. Yes, I think that's a great idea. Uh, uh, young Monarch, how was it? The gate isn't there. The gate has disappeared. What? Doesn't that mean the boss monster has been killed? But the person is yet to come back out. 
We need to get in touch with the emergency contact immediately. Uh-oh. Back to the present. So they're in Egypt. So this is like a, um, a, uh, uh, hunter war basically in Egypt. All right, let's see. We entered the pyramid for now. Um, I'm glad there are people. Uh, they're probably the ones who rode the vehicles that are outside, right? Seeing as, um, how they're using English, um, are they from another country? Where am I? I'm glad I learned English from my university admission. A hunter. After the scavenger guild, are even the Asians after the rides at this dungeon? This is a pain in the ass. Um, I think there should be so many bugs gathering. Hmm? Wait. It was mentioned in the old woman's prophecy. Uh, the being that's born of death who broke the seal. Uh, the one who possesses the power to raise the dead will appear in the grave. Right after the prophecy was given, the pyramid field type dungeon appeared in, in Egypt. <gasps> Is that Zeus? Oh my god, it's Zeus! Okay, for those of you that have not watched my soul leveling content, which is sad because you should. You should have, because I've been covering soul leveling for a long time. Um, I call um I call Jim Wu Hades, because let's be real, he's fucking Hades. And I call Thomas Andre, I have called him Zeus, because he is fucking Zeus, let's be real. So, he, dude, is that Zeus for real? Like, oh my god, what is, why? So we have the Americans involved? Dude, don't tell me that, um, and I've been thinking this for a minute, that at some point, some of the other hunters, and I know so, it's kind of cliche, for this to happen in a sequel like this, but considering the situation that um, that Suo is in, I think we're gonna have to. Thomas has to get involved. There's no way that Zeus does not get involved in this, like you know, have his memories uh, returned to him. Egypt's grave, pyramid, and death. That fits the prophecy to the T, and it kind of does fit Suo as well. Uh, but hold on, let me go back to this. Um, the being that's born of death who broke the seal. The being that's born of death would be, um, would be Suo. Because he is born of, uh, Jim Wu is, I, this is why I call Jim Wu Hades, god damn it. He is technically born of death. And he broke, who broke the seal. Well, he kind of did break the seal, didn't he? By going through the dimensional crack. Uh, the one who possesses the power to raise the dead will appear in the grave. Yeah, um, Suo did appear, uh, who has the power to raise the dead appeared in the grave, which is in the pyramid. Right after the prophecy was given, the pyramid field type dungeon appeared in Egypt. I mean, Egypt's grave, uh, pyramid, um, pyramid and death, this fits the prophecy to a T. After my scheduled events are over, bring me the rights to the dungeon so I can raid it. Um, if other guilds interfere, how do you wish us to deal with them? Why do you even bother asking? Um, use the way of the scavenger to, uh, to deal with them. Oh, no, so we got the, so, oh, Jesus Christ. Thomas, you fucker. You over there, if you're a hunter who's after this dungeon, this will be your last warning. Dungeon? So this place is a dungeon, huh? If you agree to leave, I'll let you leave. Well, that's aggressive. If this is a dungeon, I have no choice but to clear it in order to complete the urgent quest. Um, what if I refuse? It's simple. Well, I have to kill you. Well, this does feel familiar, doesn't it? Like with what Jim Wu had to deal with with the, uh with Thomas. Yeah. No. Woo. You're the one who attacked first, bitch! Yeah! Give so! Dude! Give so! I can't tell how much damage I've dealt after increasing my strength. Uh, since I struck his armor, he wouldn't die, would he? But Suo, you are a B rank. He is an A rank. So you wouldn't directly, you wouldn't be killing him. Ooh. Brat. Oh, What? How dare you try to go easy on me? Ooh. Kill everyone regardless if they're from uh, the Asura Guild or if it's that Asian kid. Cut them all down. Dare you harm the young monarch? Get him! Get him! I guess a fight is inevitable. 
Gosh, uh, young monarch, are you all right? Yeah. Hunters are fighting among themselves, huh? If I want to clear the urgent quest, I have to win in the scuffle, right? Um, I think there's a need to do that for the sake of this raid. The guild of the armored guy who uh, attacked me is an enemy for sure. I, I hope Thomas shows up. I really, really do. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wouldn't Pharaoh recognize the name of the scavenger guild, though? Let's see. This fight is great, though. Not surprising. To think a weak hunter would dare to go up against the scavenger guild. Um, you should have just listened to the words of the strong. God, this, so, this sounds exactly like the shit with Thomas. I tried to knock him out, but he was still the attack. Just how tough are these assholes? Um, what about using the new combat method along with the ruler's authority that I learned? Hmm. Would I be able to use that on a person? If I killed him by mistake? Ooh. Ooh. Thank you. Um, I saw your skills when you dodged Randolph's attack. But that hesitation you had a moment ago, are you afraid of killing another person? Monsters aren't the only thing that are dangerous to a hunter. You have to have uh, the resolve to protect yourself against uh, dangerous humans like unofficial hunters. Um, resolve? I thought that fighting with my life on the line would be enough. Is that not enough? Up until now, there was no need to kill a person. Even when I fought with the Hyena Guild, um, I was able to hold myself back and fight them due to the overwhelming difference in our strength. But I won't always be in a situation where I have the upper hand. Situations where not uh, killing can result in your death, um, or you not being able to protect you what you want, will probably keep occurring in this world where the Great Cataclysm has taken place. I had, oh, I had missed that... Um, I missed that uh, that out as I only um, thought about leveling up. I forgot that I have to throw away the feelings I have from before the Great Cataclysm. Only then will I be able to fight Lee Min Sung. Yeah, because Lee is technically still a human. I'm a hunter from the Astra Guild. My name is Lu Xing. Um, we're in a bit of a trouble. Uh, we're in a bit of trouble because of the Scavenger Guild. How about forming an alliance with us? Ooh. Woo! Damn, so! Ooh, rule is authority, level two. Here we go. Even though you um, are not uh, personally touching physical objects, you can physically move them. Yeah, dude, this pale is great. I won't hesitate anymore. Ooh, did he knock his teeth out? Holy shit! He beat a B rank tanker half dead with just one hit. Ooh, he's liking this. Interesting. Uh, I'm so from Korea. Let's form the alliance. Dude, I really hope Thomas shows up. I need Zeus to show the fuck up. I need to see him here. Because I want, like, partially because I want to see, um, because just because uh, I want to see him. But I do want to see if Beru restores his memories or not. I'm very curious what you guys think. Do you guys think that um, that Beru is going to, if if Thomas shows up, like I think he's going to, do you guys think that Beru is going to restore his memories? Part of me thinks he is going to, because I think he's going to, um, I think, similar to what we saw in solo leveling, I think Thomas is going to play a key role. Um, I think he will, I don't know if he will have a... Um, have a weapon kind of like uh, like he did for um, Jim Wu that he will give to Suo. But I think he, part of me thinks he will. I do. I Again, I know it is cliche. I know it's fucking cliche. But at the same time, I just think about what Jim Wu said uh, to Baru is that he didn't want... Suo to fight alone. That's why I'm like, I think, I, that's why I think that um, Baru in particular will uh, restore Thomas's uh, uh, memories. I don't think Baru's going to restore everyone's memories, but I think the key uh, hunters that he fought alongside, that Jim Wu fought alongside with, 
I think those are the ones that Beru is going to restore um, their memories. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Zinc. Love what we're doing. I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more soul leveling content. You wish you could do that. Duty to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord. Friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.